Welcome to another edition of Detector Pro Tips. This time we're looking at the GoFind 22, uh, 44 and 66. We've got all three of them lined up here. Uh, this is part one. Um, the part two, look for part two because we will take these out into the field and show you target IDs and all that sort of jazz. So that's how we're working these pro tips. The first one right here and the second one out in the bush or out in the field somewhere. So, Corey, welcome. Hey. Pro tips with go finds. So, tell me about the tell me about the uh, tell me about the go finds. I suppose we start off with uh, how to get them going. Yeah. Well, basically, as you can see, we got three different models in the go find series. Yep. Um, the twenty two is sort of the most basic, um, but has much the same features as the forty four and the sixty six. Um, biggest difference being, um, we can have a look at the 22, you can see on the top here has a small coil, coil yeah. and the 44 and 66 have a large coil. Yep. Yep. Now, if we switch them on, uh, I'm not sure if we can capture, can we see the screen? We'll come up, we'll get yeah, the cut, cut cut camera away. up closer here. Cut away to the yeah. screen. You can see we've got four icons appear on the screen, and that's the same for all three of the go finds, and they simply represent different types of metal. So on this side of the screen, we've got uh, targets representing iron. Uh, next one along is targets representing foil and low value coins. Next one along is uh, your gold coins and gold jewellery. And then the last one is your silver, copper, and brass type targets. And when we detect a target with a go find, we'll get a tone, and the corresponding icon will flash up on the screen to give us an idea of what type of metal it is. So to get started with the go find series, all we have to do is switch the machine on, and when you first get it, it might be on maximum sensitivity and it might be chattering like this. So the first thing we want to do is maybe just reduce the sensitivity until that chattering stops. Then you're ready to go detecting. Now with the GoFind 22, um, if there's, there's generally, we, we don't ever want to dig iron targets. So with the 22 here, we've got the ability to get rid of the iron targets. So they don't give us a, um, a tone or the icon flashing up. And that's basically all there is to the 22. We've got a volume control which you can turn up and down a little bit. Um, but other than that, it's as simple as you can get in a metal detector. And power switch is just on the side. Yep, power yeah, switch. Yeah. Just what batteries do they take, Corey? So go for all three GoFinds just take uh, four AA batteries that go in just the in handle. Just the back of the handle there, and yeah. yeah, they'll probably give you 15 hours of run time. Yeah. So as you step down the range, or, or as you step up the range, you're getting more features than these other, the 44s and the 66s, yes, aren't you? exactly. Yeah. But if, uh, 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 we talked about earlier, the yep. upgrade in the coil. coil. Yep, so we've got a larger coil. And then what features, so if we were to go from the 22, yep. right, to the 44, so what changes with the 44? Okay, so on the 44, we'll switch it on so you can see that the screen is basically the same but we've now got a few other extra buttons. So we've got a, a backlight feature for nighttime. We've got a, a Bluetooth button here, which enables us to pair it up with the smartphone app, which we'll talk about shortly. Yep. Um, and we've also got a pinpoint button. And the pinpoint to me is the, the most important part of the, the GoFind detectors. Being able to work out exactly where that target is means it's a lot easier to recover your targets. Um, but essentially the 44 and 66 both work exactly the same as the, the 22 in that we don't want to find iron so we can get rid of the iron targets. But on the 44 we can then get rid of the foil and low value coins as well and generally we don't want to be digging those. Um, so it just enables us to get rid of more trash so that we can focus on digging a bit more treasure. Cool. So what then, while, we're, while we've got the camera here, what what features have we got that between the 44 and the 66? Is there any variation in features? Slightly. Slightly. So when we get to our 66, switch it on. We'll see the screen again is exactly the same, buttons are the same, 
Um, the major difference is that we can get rid of the iron targets, the foil targets, and the gold targets. I'm not sure why anyone wants to do that, but they've given us that ability if we want to. Yeah. Um, otherwise, the only other difference between the two is the Go Find 66 will produce four different tones, one for each. Oh, okay, target, good, good. Whereas the 44 will produce a low one on iron, a slightly higher one on the foil, and the two higher targets will be a single high tone. Yeah, yeah. Um, but otherwise, everything is identical. So, I would be right in assuming that the step between the 22 and the 66, you're also getting more power as well. A little bit, yeah. yes. Yeah, being, so you're going probably being, a little bit deeper. Yeah. Being that you've got a larger coil, you yep. get a bit more depth and lots more ground coverage. Yeah, so that's another big advantage to step up from the 22, 40, that's part of stepping up through the range. Yeah. So, okay, that's the settings, that's how they work. Another very, very cool feature is they fold up nice and small. Um, we can fold them right down to that, like Corey's just done there, beautiful, nice little small detector sort of thing. So, um, so how do I use it? Like we're like so obviously it's it's not a super high powerful machine no. that can handle heavily mineralized ground like in no, the gold fields. That's right. The wet sand on the beach I would think they would struggle a yes. little bit with. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. So like these are really great for playing around at the playgrounds and sports fields or um, in the dry sand at the beach. They can be used in the wet sand, but we need to probably reduce the sensitivity just a little bit and be a bit more controlled with our sweeping on the wet sand. Yeah, and therefore you lose depth when you yeah. turn your sensitivity down to control it in that exactly. wet sand. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what we'll also do now, so that sort of sums up the, is there anything you wanted to add on these great little entry level machines? No, before? like to me these re represent, you know, a budget conscious entry level machine that has some features, particularly the smartphone app that is found in no other metal detector. Yeah. Um, so they're an awesome way to get into the hobby. Now, this has got an app with it as well, yes, that's right? right? Now, what does that app do? Okay, so uh, we can connect the 44 and the 66 up to a smartphone app. Oh, so not the 22, not, so there's another the step 22, up. Yep. yep, so just the two higher ones. Now, when you've got the app connected to it, um, you can do a few things. You can actually uh, control the machine remotely through your phone. You can listen to music while you're detecting. But the thing that does it for me is when you detect a coin, um, a picture of that coin will come up on the phone screen before you deep oh, the target. Beautiful. Um, whereas a random piece of metal or a bottle top will just show like the icon does on the machine. Yep. Um, you can also set it to make funny noises over certain targets, like you can make it sound like a cash register when it comes up with a coin. Oh, beautiful. Um, yeah. And um, the 66 also lets you map all of your finds and put them into Google Earth, so you can oh, well, a see what you're finding where. Fantastic feature. So what we'll do is we'll cut away now and we will go and have a look at that app right now. Okay, so that's a roundup on the go finds. Um, so don't forget you can get us on the Daylight Helpline, which will be appear randomly on the screen here somewhere. And uh, we're always here to help. And um, yeah, thanks very much for watching this and look forward to part two uh, when we're out in the field showing you exactly how it works. Yes, I'm recording. Yeah. Um, so, you, g'day folks, welcome to Taylor, what do we call it? Detector Pro Tips. Detector Pro Tips. Pro Tips. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs>